Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. First off, I want to thank you all so much for all the love and support on our candles. It really means the world. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions on how we actually pack our candles to ship them out. And this is a really great question because here I am super focused on making sure we don't use any plastic and that our packing is as sustainable as possible. So I ship only using paper. And that's some risky business with candles because you know it's a lot of glass. So typically people like to use bubble wrap um, or even styrofoam to pack things to make sure that nothing bumps into the candle and prevents it from shattering. Now through a lot of trial and error, I've developed this little um, technique, I'd say, to pack my candles. I have had candles break in the past, so because of that, um, you know, I've learned, I've grown, and I've developed this little method of packing them. So hopefully this helps you if you want to be as sustainable as possible and not use any plastic. So let's get to it. I am going to be packing my bestseller, which would actually be my bundle. So it's three candles in one set. So let's get to it. Um, I actually get all of my boxes from USPS. They're a great resource. I would really urge you guys to help support them in any way that you can. Um, you can actually get a whole bunch of priority mailboxes for free. For free, that's zero dollars. Um, and you can literally get stacks. <laughs> you should see our garage. You can get stacks on stacks of boxes for free. It's really a great resource. And priority mail is cool because um, your packages can, or actually I think they're already insured for up to $50. But don't quote me on that, just double check on the website. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So first off, you gotta make your boxes. Um, I believe this is a 7x7x6 seven by seven by box, which works pretty well for most of my work. I do tend to overkill it on the tape because I just want to make sure it's secure. Alright, and I actually use packing paper. And I get this at Walmart, you can get it like at any local store, it's pretty inexpensive and it goes a really long way. Um, and it's really cool because when you order a lot of supplies, for candles especially, um, people use a lot of paper as well to pack um, their packages as well. So I, usually I just recycle a lot of the paper that I already get, but if not, I go and get some of my own paper. Just it up. I'm really sure to add a good layer of paper on the bottom because when my glass candles did break, I noticed that a lot of them broke from the bottom. So I imagine, you know, when it's bouncing around through, you know, shipping, um, there's a lot of impact on the bottom or the sides. So I want to make sure it's really secure um, and compact on those ends so that nothing breaks. Um, cool, I got three layers of paper on there. Now we'll get our candles. Let's see. Oh man. I like to double check the candles before I send them out. Make sure the warning label's on there. You know that it looks beautiful. It smells amazing. Oh my goodness. So in the bundle you get Lavender Mist, which is our lavender-based candle. Um, Lush Forest, which has pine cedar, lemongrass, and rosemary. Oh wow, looks beautiful. I do top it off with some botanicals. Um, most of the botanicals I actually grow in my garden. So the rosemary, um, the marigolds, next year the lavender, um, and I dry everything before putting them in the candles. And sunrise. Oh, such a pretty candle. All right, there we go. So I actually wrap each candle individually as well. Mm. 
And again, a lot of the problem areas was the bottom, so I'm, I'm sure to wrap paper underneath it so that, you know, there's not a lot of um, action, I'd say. <laughs> or damage, I don't even know the word. <laughs> Stuff it in there. Again, I, I, I stuff it in pretty loose and fluffy, and then I get it more compact when all the candles are actually in there. One. candle is usually where I like to attach my little thank you notes because you know it really helps to appreciate your customers let them know like how grateful you are that they're supporting you so this is actually a packet so I'm actually preparing something to ship in real time thank you love and light there you go now I use some hemp string to actually tie it onto the candle. Shipping, uh, packing can take quite a while because you know, every package is so individualized, you know, with these little notes um, and with packing it so securely, but it really is worth the labor. It's a labor of love. There we go. <laughs> and now we wrap the candle in some paper. There you can see there's some still there's still some open some open areas on the edges there so I'm gonna use more paper to fill those in. to add extra um, security on the edges because again when it gets bumped around the edges is, is really a problem area so I want to make sure it's really nice and secure do before topping it off is actually put some paper in the center to prevent the candles from from possibly um, banging against one another because it can definitely break that way And I like to leave the top of the candles exposed because when they reveal what's inside, it's really nice to just have the candles slip out. It's really neat. All right, and now we'll top it off. And I want to leave it a little bit fluffy, not too compact, because um, once we close it, you'll see there's going to be some resistance, and that really makes sure that it's really nice and airtight in the actual box like that. I'm going to place a little note on top. It's attached. I like to give him a little sticker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we will finish it off. See, you can see, you can see that resistance there, which is perfect. And now I'm 
make sure it's nice and compact. Press it down. Beautiful. Tape it. These tape rollers really help. They're so handy. You can also get them at Walmart, I think. Sealed. Write the name. Great. And actually, before weighing it and getting it ready to ship out, the last thing I do is add some fragile stickers on the edges. Just let them know that there's glass in there. I got these off of Amazon. And I lay it on the edge like this, so, cause I noticed, I felt, I feel like if you put it on the side here, um, you know, it can still get kind of lost, like they might not even notice it. But if it's on top, um, I usually put the shipping label right here. Um, they kind of have no choice but to see that there's something on the box. Now, I'm not really sure if this does make a difference at the post office. I hear people say like, <laughs> it makes the people at the post office treat it worse, um, which I highly doubt, but who knows? You, you really can't see what goes on beyond giving your box at the post office. Um, but it really does help the customer know, you know, you're doing what you can to ensure that your package arrives to them safely because you really care about these these products that you're giving them. Um, now the last thing I would do is add, uh, weigh it, add the shipping label, and it is ready to go. Um, I, I give it a little shake test. You don't want any movement. You don't hear anything. Silence. It's the best feeling. That means you packed it pretty good. Um, and yeah, add the shipping label and it's ready to go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this sweet little video on how I package my boxes. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this inspires you to try to go the sustainable route when packing and using paper. Um, Brian here at Red Leaf Ranch. Take care, everyone. Sending you all so much love and light.